Welcome back everyone to our example video for factoring sum of cubes. We assume that you've watched our intro video to factoring sum and difference of cubes. If you haven't done that yet, we talk about the way we're going to work through these and it'll make a little more sense as we progress through this. Uh, so we'll look here, we have 8x cubed plus 125 for our first example. We want to think about this as something cubed gives me 8x cubed. And the answer for that is 2x times 2x times 2x, right? 2x cubed is 8x cubed. And something cubed gives us 125. That thing is 5. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. We have add in the middle, so we're using our sum of cubes formula. Here we're saying in the formula that a is 2x and b is 5. So we'll go ahead and use our formula. We'll say 8x cubed plus 125 equals short factor, just has a and b in it. So I put 2x and 5. And remember the way we do this, we go back and assign the signs last. So now the square of the front goes in front. So 2x times itself would give us 4x squared. Don't forget to square both the 2 and the x. The square of the back goes in back. So 5 squared would give us 25. And then we multiply in the middle, a times b in the formula. So 2x times 5 would give us 10x for our middle term in the long factor. Now remember to assign the signs in the factor, we go through and we remember the SOAP method. So same is S, what we started with is plus, so same is plus. Opposite of what we started with would be minus for the next one, and then always plus or always positive for the last one. So we get 2x plus 5 as our short factor, 4x squared minus 10x plus 25 as our long factor. Second example here, we've got x cubed plus 27y cubed. Again, a sum of cubes. This, pretty easy, is x cubed. And don't forget the 27 here, so this is actually 3y cubed, because 3 cubed is 27, and y cubed gives us that. Sum of those, so if we see it this way, we see in our formula that a is going to be x in this example, and b is going to be 3y. So we'll go ahead and drop all of our a's and b's into the formula. x cubed plus 27y cubed is going to equal short factor with a and b, so x and 3y. Square of the front goes in front, so if I square x, I get x squared. Square of the back goes in back, so if I square 3y, I get 9y squared. Multiplying in the middle, x times 3y, if I write it alphabetically, would give me 3xy. Looking at SOAP, since I'm starting with plus, same will be plus, opposite will be minus, and always plus gives us plus in the back each time. Okay, so that's our answer there, x plus 3y times x squared minus 3xy plus 9y squared. Let's do one more example. Here we've got one, and you might notice this is not really a perfect cube. 16 is not a perfect cube. The x cubed is, but the 16 is not. 2 is also not a perfect cube. If you notice, we have here a greatest common factor. So don't forget when you're factoring anything, even some indifference of cubes, be sure that you look for greatest common factor first. So the common factor here is 2. We're going to go ahead and pull out 2 and have 8x cubed plus 1 left over after we factor that out. Now this is still a sum of cubes, so we need to factor more, not just the 2. So if I look what is being cubed here, this is actually 2x cubed. What is being cubed to get 1? One? 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 2x and 1 going in our formula. So remember we'll have our 2 hanging out in front of what we're doing with the formula here because it's our greatest common factor. So I'm going to go ahead and say 2 and then I'm going to do all of my sum of cubes here. So we have a and b would be 2x and 1 in the short factor. In the long factor, remember, square of the front goes in front, so 2x quantity squared would be 4x squared. Square of the back goes in back, 1 squared is 1. 
Multiply in the middle, 2x times 1 gives us 2x. Using the SOAP method, same would be plus, opposite would be minus, and always plus will give us a plus in the back. Okay, so we have our usual answer here, but we have a two out front because we had a greatest common factor. Hopefully that gives you some nice examples of sum of cubes to go off of. We have another video of examples that is just difference of cubes. It's the same formula with the same soap, but just giving you more practice. So if you would like, please check that out and we will see you there.